So let's get this course started. In this video, we're going to cover the bridge hand, which is going to handle all of the picking. Now, if you're left-handed, I do recommend playing as a right-handed player, as most guitars are made for right-handers, unless you're already further along in your playing. The first thing we need to get down is the PIMA system. P I M A. That stands for Pulgar, Indice, Medio, and Annular. Or translated from Spanish, the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. There is a C for pinky, but the average finger picker doesn't use the pinky, so we won't be covering it in this course. So again, that's P I M A. That's thumb, index, middle, ring. P I M A. We're going to be using the letters P I M A to describe what fingers are going to pluck the strings on tabs. So you want to have them memorized. So let's take a quick look at an example that we're going to be using in other videos. So in this quick example, you can see the P for thumb, the I for index, the M for middle finger, and the A for the ring finger. Now we want to get the position down for finger picking. Now there's a few different ways to finger pick, but in this course I'm going to show you the way that I do it, which is planting our hand above the bridge so that we can keep our hand as still as possible while we finger pick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this part of our hand right here, bottom of the palm, above the wrist, right in the center, and we're going to place it right above this bridge pin. That way our thumb is almost straight along that top string and our three fingers are hovering above the bottom three strings. So again, I'm gonna take that part of my palm, center at the bottom, I'm gonna rest it right at this bridge pin. So my thumb goes straight along there and my three fingers are hovering over the bottom three strings. With most classical acoustic steel strings and electric guitars, you're gonna have the same position. However, with different bridges, different guitars, you may have to adjust your positioning a little bit. Now just make sure that when you find a comfortable spot, you stick to it, that you do it all the time. You're consistent because the more consistent you are, the faster you're going to improve and get better at it. The more you change around, the more that you change where you do it, the longer it's going to take to improve. Now that we got the position down, we want to get the finger picking position down comfortable as fast as possible. The best way to do it to start is by picking each string individually. Now we're gonna remember our position of staying planted at the top of the bridge and trying to keep our fingers hovered. And what we're gonna do is just pluck the E string a lot. You'll first go slow, make sure it's sounding nice, we're not muting it or anything like that. We can go a little fast. And I'm going just slightly away from the string towards my index finger above my index finger, which is an important detail above my index finger. Just slightly away from the guitar. And I don't want to go crazy out. Just slightly out and keeping my hand planted as I go. And once that's comfortable, we're going to move down to the A string. And we're just going to do the same thing. Trying to keep my hand planted up here above the bridge keeping my thumb going just slightly away from the guitar and above my index finger and keeping my three fingers hovering above the strings. And try to go slow, try to go fast. And then of course, once you're done with the A string, you go down to the D string. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're keeping it above the index finger pulling slightly away from the guitar and making sure that string's not getting muted along the way and keeping our hand planted. When you're comfortable with each string individually, try all three in a row. Pulling away, pulling away, pulling away. And take your time because we're trying to be really accurate while controlling our thumb and our fingers so that they're not resting on these strings, they're staying slightly hovered, and my hand is not flicking way out or anything like that, like this. If you find your hand flicking out like this, you wanna to try to control it a little more, remember it's all in the thumb. Spend a good amount of time doing that, getting it really comfortable and getting your positioning really comfortable. 
Just remember not to go crazy away from the guitar and to keep that thumb above the index finger. You don't want it tucking underneath the index finger or anything like that. And when it comes to our fingers, we don't want them straight out and we don't want them on the strings. We want them pre-curled and hovering above the strings. So I'm gonna be planted in my position. I want them pre-curled and I want them above the strings. So let's take a closer look for the fingers. I'm first gonna get in my planted position. I'm gonna pre-curl my fingers and hover above the strings, not rest on them. And how I'm gonna pick the strings is by curling in my fingers like a fist. And I'm gonna pick the strings on an angle. So the way we wanna practice this is just like the strings above. We're gonna start with our index finger, or I, and I'll pluck that G string on an angle. I'm gonna uncurl, pick on an angle, make sure it sounds good. And when I'm done picking, I'm gonna keep my finger curled up until I'm ready to pick again, because I don't wanna rest, because then the sound stops, like that. That's why we don't wanna practice resting, we wanna keep them hovered. So you do just like the strings above. You just keep plucking until you're comfortable and keeping your hand still and in its planted position. Then we use our middle finger or M for the B string. Curling in, not going fully straight, not pulling away from the guitar or anything like that. And then the last E string with our ring finger or A. You pull each one individually to get them really comfortable. And when that's comfortable, do all three in a row like you did above. Hovering above the strings, not resting on them, otherwise we're gonna get. And we don't want that, we want nice long rings. Keeping planted, keeping our hand not moving too much. And once that's comfortable, you're gonna work your way from the top string down to the bottom, back up to the top. And just like before, we wanna keep our thumb plucking away and above our index finger and our fingers hovering above the strings, not resting. Really take your time. Try not to move your hand too much. And just getting it really comfortable. If you're getting a lot of muting, be sure to check your positioning to fix it and to make sure you're getting those nice sounds. And once you get it, be sure to be consistent with how you're getting those sounds. That way you can learn to finger pick as fast as possible. Our bridge hand is the first thing we want to get really comfortable with so that it can work by itself when we don't have to really think too much about it. So much is happening between our two hands when it comes to finger picking that we really want to have this running almost on autopilot so we can concentrate more on what our fretting hand is doing. Don't be surprised if you end up watching this video multiple times and that takes you a while, especially to get that positioning right and to get the string sounding the way you want. It's totally normal. These things take time, practice, and patience. Just remember, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, as long as you're practicing and staying consistent. Once you have everything sounding good and you're comfortable, then move on to the next video. Just, again, don't be surprised if it takes a little while if you're new to this. Just remember to keep having fun and happy practicing.